Um, today I just want to talk about connecting to Azure VMs with a remote desktop manager. Now leveraging Azure Bastion to do that and in the background that's using the Azure Bastion native client connectivity but I think it's a lot nicer to use a remote desktop manager than the um, AZ command that Microsoft give you. So um, without further ado let's just jump into it and take a look at the the environment setup and uh, show you the demo of how to get this set up for yourself. Okay, so over here in Azure Resource Manager, I've basically got a, a virtual machine here, VM Bast Demo 01, and it's in a hub and spoke network topology, and I've got an Azure Bastion uh, resource set up, and there's really just not one main thing I wanted to show you Azure Bastion, other than obviously you need to have it set up with the normal um, networking rules that you'd need anyway to get Bastion to work. But the key point here um, to make it work with the native client is just go to configuration while my browser catches up with me and make sure you've got Bastion configured in the standard SKU and once it's configured in the standard SKU it will enable some of these other options and make sure that the native client support is enabled so that's what's going to let us leverage the native client but within the remote desktop manager configuration so the other things that you'll need is um, the remote desktop manager uh, client here so the specific one that we're using is devolutions it's the only remote desktop manager that i know of that has this feature and there may be other ones this is just the only one that i know of um, you can i'll put this link in the show notes you can also install it if you prefer uh, via the command line which i definitely do prefer with chocolatey so i'll put this link also and the command in the show notes or winget personally i use winget so i'll put that in the show notes as well um, let's just before we uh, jump into the setup of Remote Desktop Manager, we'll validate that um, Bastion in my network is actually configured properly. So I'll jump into the virtual machine. Here we are. I'll choose Connect. Connect via Azure Bastion. Type in my password. And sure enough, it connects. Um, just before I jump into con configuring the remote desktop manager, I should point out there's a couple of other prerequisites for um, Azure Bastion to work with the native client. I'll provide the links as well to the Microsoft documentation. Um, you can see the prerequisites here. But when you uh, do use the Windows native client in the way that Microsoft has documented for you to use, they expect you to, to run uh, this command here from your from the terminal. Um, and that, of course, needs the AZ module. And there's some prerequisites for that as well. There's an extension uh, called Bastion now. These were already on my machine, so I don't know with 100% certainty if you need to install these or the prerequisites are bundled with Remote Desktop Manager because uh, this is a feature of the Devolutions Remote Desktop Manager. So just for your awareness, if you don't have these pre-installed, these prerequisites for the native client and you're having an issue uh, following along and it's not working for you, then just go install these pre prerequisites. So... That being said, let's jump over to the Remote Desktop Manager and get that configured. So here we are in Devolutions Remote Desktop Manager. I've obviously got some folders already configured in a hierarchy, which you probably won't have, um, but do what you will with the folders and make it set out nice for you. Uh, let's just get into um, Australia East demo is where, we're de where we've deployed our virtual machine uh, for this demo. So I'm just gonna right click on that folder and um, create a new entry here. Uh, the type of entry that I want is going to be uh, remote desktop and what I'm going to do, there is a way that you can uh, separately put the resources in for Azure Bastion if you're going to reuse it for lots of machines but for simplicity of this demo um, I'll just put it all into uh, all into one place in the remote desktop session and uh, you can also duplicate that if that's going to be easier so let's uh, click on OK for that and I've got the 
the details over in my notepad, so bear with me, I'll just copy them across. So uh, the name here, I'm just going to call it the host name of the VM. Yep, that's right. Uh, and that will automatically track down into the host here. And I'm going to store my credentials as well. Um, so that way when I log in, I won't get prompted twice for credentials. I'll get prompted anyway for the multi-factor authentication, which you'll see later on. Um, but I just want to copy and paste my, my virtual machine credentials in here so that I only get that one, one prompt. Um, so that, that's all we need for uh, the virtual machine itself. Now the interesting part here is uh, getting it to, to connect to the Azure Bastion. So what we do is come over here to VPN Tunnel Gateway. Effectively, we're creating a, a type of a type of tunnel to the Azure Bastion, uh, using it as a gateway and then connecting to the virtual machine. So the type of uh, gateway here that I want to choose is, uh, well, the connection type is always connect, and the the type is Azure Bastion. And then just before I move on, under the Azure resource, this refers to the virtual machine. By default, it's going to look for a resource that's in the same resource group as Azure Bastion, which is not usually the case. So typically I'll change this to, uh, to custom and put in the um, subscription ID where the Azure resource is and the resource group where the where the resource is, the virtual machine is. So those credentials, or sorry, those details, just to be clear, relate to the virtual machine, not to Azure Bastion. And then over here in this tab, in the settings for Azure Bastion, these are similar settings that relate to the Azure Bastion resource specifically. So I'm just going to put in the details for Azure Bastion there. So this is the, the host name is the name of the resource that we've called Azure Bastion. And the subscription ID is the subscription ID. And actually, I'll just quickly, if you're not sure where to grab all this information from, just jump back over to the um, portal and show you. So uh, fairly much all resources in, in Microsoft Azure, if I just go into this Bastion resource, in the overview page, they have a, a handy place where you can just copy straight to the clipboard the, the resource group and the subscription name. And, and obviously, the resource name is at the top here. There we go. So you can see the resource group here, and I can just copy that straight to the clipboard. Similar with the subscription ID here, which I can just copy. And if you ever need the, the full resource ID, you can expand out this uh, JSON view, and it will give you the entire resource ID. There you go, and the resource ID is just in there, and of course you can just copy that straight to the clipboard as well. So just jumping back uh, to the Virtual Desktop Manager, sorry for, sorry for the interruption. Um, I'll carry on where I left off, so I need the resource group of uh, Bastion and then the tenant ID of the entire tenant uh, and that should be all you really need but because I use uh, this to authenticate against lots of different tenants that I manage what I typically do also is just go into the authentication piece and prevent it from using any, any cache tokens that I have in my PowerShell or AZ CLI so I just turn those off and leave on prompt for credentials and, and that's pretty much it. So then I'll hit add there and you'll see I get the, the virtual machine there. Now when I double click this and uh, launch the, the connection, you'll see the first thing that happens is it tries to tunnel to the Azure Bastion and that's where I get the, the MFA or any conditional access rules get applied at that point. So it launches the browser and uh, makes you authenticate uh, using that web, web form. And then once that tunnel is complete, uh, it does the uh, the RDP native client uh, connection. So let's just uh, double click that and you'll, you'll see it all kick off here. There we go. So I'm just going to connect with that. And I've previously logged in before, so it's not going to challenge me with MFA, but if I didn't already have a session connected, I would get MFA. Now that uh, connection's completed to the Bastion and now it's launching the, config the connection to the um to the virtual machine and because i had my stored credentials in there automatically connected if i didn't have stored credentials then i'd be prompted sort of for a second time if you will to connect like any other rdp connection and you can see now that i'm connected to the virtual machine which is great and that's all i really wanted to show you today if you wanted uh if you needed any other clarifications about or other ways that you can use this remote desktop manager to connect to um, virtual machines or perhaps if you, uh, maybe you want to see how you can use it to connect to um, 
Azure AD joined VMs, which it can also do, then let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if there's anything else you want me to cover relating to Azure or AI Ops or DevOps or anything like that, then please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, until next time, have a good one.